G'day everybody, it's me again. Um, pretty happy with what I've just found, um, at the same time being a little disappointed in myself, and I'll tell you why. Um, about ooh, two Christmases ago we installed this crane. Beautiful piece it is. And uh, we had to install that hydraulic tank in there, so I had to weld brackets to the chassis subframe, the second skin, to mount that. We had to move the fuel tank and we had to muck around with some stuff here I can't remember. In doing that, in my infinite wisdom, we had to move this fuel filter assembly. It's actually a pre-filter. So it's very, very important. For some stupid reason, which I really don't want to start thinking why, I removed it. Okay, once again, in my infinite wisdom, I just spoke to the old man, and he says that the one that was originally on this truck, um, when we removed it, it wasn't able to be refitted because it was broken, it was leaking or something happened. Um, I found out that this one actually came off the man 6x6 that we had here for scrapping some time ago. Um, now, yeah, um, I'll go back to what I was saying. Now, in the absence of the pickup filter, well, what would you call that? Yeah, the tank strainer filter. I don't know what you'd call it, okay? It's the first filter. In the absence of that filter, um, for, for first port of call for any garbage out of the tank was this banjo fitting here. Um, that's on the lift pump, on the injection pump. Two separate pumps. Now, what actually occurred was, was that the pickup strainer on the, uh, on the lift pump has actually got a strainer inside this banjo bolt. Now, that is absolutely chockers with some random gooey gunk. We'll come back here to the workbench and we'll chuck the, uh, chuck the fluoros on. And if we have a look at this, it is some kind of weird random... It's soft like rubber. It's almost like inside of hose sort of feeling rubber but I won't push that too hard because there's actually a little filter element in there but it's absolutely chockers with it and what I can do is if I can somehow freaking use the vice maybe I'll hold the camera with my teeth <laughs> I don't know we'll flip that around that might work yeah that works so we can chuck that banjo bolt in the vise and then we should be able to get that fitting out with something flat and long. Not necessarily a screwdriver, but like this piece of metal. Oh, it's quite jammed. In fact, I think it could be broken already. I'd say it would be on a thread because it's, yeah, it's broken already. Shit. Well, I'm going to have to find myself a pickup strainer then, aren't I? But anyway, you guys get the idea. That little bolt, with its pickup strainer built in, I probably could remove it altogether, but that's also a bit dodgy. But without, without this in there, all of this would have gone into the injection pump, which is the dodgiest part. Which is kind of why, in my infinite wisdoms, um, it should have been always put back in, but it never was for some reason. Um, I wonder... Yeah, that's gone all brittle. It's literally brittle like brittle, brittle, brittle. I wonder where I can get one of them filters. Yeah, it's f yeah that's fucked now. Um, I'm going to have to replace that. That's, uh, that's had it. That's broken now. Probably have to replace the insert. But I can get it out. Anyway, moral of this story... Make sure you've got a goddamn water separator and filter trap in between your tank and your injection pump. That's a $5,000 injection pump. Is it worth uh, a couple of filters? No. So, uh, yeah, about to run out of camera here. No, uh, running out of film actually, memory. And uh, so, yeah, so far it's cost me about $200 to diagnose this, and yeah, big lesson learnt, guys. Thanks for watching.